What is up all my stock market investors? It is Shadai and I'm back again with another Cash App Investing video. Today I want to talk about some stocks that you should probably put on your watch list as we put quarter two behind us almost for most companies. But before we get there, I do want to mention the stocks group chat. We have a handful of future generational wealth builders, future millionaires. Make sure you shoot me a DM at Instagram, at my Instagram above, and I will add you into the chat. You can learn information. Um, you can share information. So if you're still trying to learn, feel free to ask me. If you're, if you're trying to give information to future millionaires, feel free to add. And ask me and I'll add you in. Um, you know, we're, we're just trying to build each other, help each other out so that we can all come on top. Now, let's get straight to business. And as well, I do want to mention, and this isn't for my Cash App people. This is, this is for my other platform trading people before I get into the stocks to watch. Because my Cash App people don't have this option. And maybe Cash App, one day, if they watch this video, Maybe they will add, I'm dropping things. Maybe they will add this option, but I want everybody to be very careful, especially if you're new. Um, and when I mean new, a year, within a year to two years, uh, be very careful with the stop losses. Uh, if you don't understand what a stop loss actually does or what can happen when someone that has a lot more shares and money than you, uh, they can kill your stop loss. And what that happens is because you already put the stop loss in, you've lost control. You don't have control of the sale no more. So they go and sell a bunch of their shares, bringing down the price of the stock, killing your stock losses. And then when the price continues to drop, they buy right back into the stock, bringing the stock price back up. New investors are jumping in, trying to ride the wave up. I personally know a handful of people who have lost money already due to stop losses. So I don't want to see no one from my YouTube family. I'm glad my cash app people don't even have this option. Um, if you're going to be in this game, just be in the game and don't let the computer uh, sell your stocks for you. Because another thing, when, when you sell a stock loss at a certain price, that doesn't mean it's going to get, it's not a guarantee it's going to sell at that price. Because if someone has an enormous amount of more shares than you and money than you, when they sell all those numbers, you're gonna get whatever whatever you get in, they'll, they'll fit you in somewhere, whatever the loss is, and it can be a, a whole lot worse than what you expected. So um, that was just a small thought on the stop losses, but if you wanna know more, feel free to uh, let me know in the comments and I will do a more in-depth video about the stop losses, but feel free to do your own research because I always recommend everybody to really understand what is going on. So, as far as stocks to look forward to, um, now this video is coming out after the market closes. So, if cannabis doesn't do well, uh, then Canopy and Tilray are supposed to um, report. And if they don't beat, um, it might be a good opportunity to get into cannabis. If they do beat, I still think it'll be a good opportunity to get into cannabis. Um, I think that the states and local governments are unfortunately maybe one day going to need uh, some of that tax money from the cannabis companies. I think the federal government should just make weed legal in the United States. I think that the states could really benefit. It's, it's an enormous amount of money that these, these uh, like a Colorado is making off of cannabis or Massachusetts is making off of cannabis. Uh, probably in California as well. It's an enormous amount of money, and uh, it can be very, it can be used in amazing ways. So, if if you're looking for opportunity and you see those cannabis stocks start start to dip, I mean, my two favorites are Tilray and Canopy. I'm invested in, so definitely put those on your watch list. Um, unfortunately, as we are getting closer to this whole fiscal stimulus thing, and now Trump is signing executive orders. Um, this all does affect the stock market. The stock market is a prediction of the future. So if the, if the future is not looking much bright, you can expect the stock market to start to pull back. And that could be that 10% pullback that 
the Morgan Stanley analyst predicted, and I kind of agreed with him, um, if we still continue to see Congress, you know, Democrats, Republicans not be able to come to somewhat of an agreement because this executive order that Trump signs uh, or is trying to do is only going to last a month or two. Uh, so we will see what happens with that. But you can possibly expect, especially if you have a volatile stock, to see some pullback in the next week if you see nothing getting done, if there's no stimulus, if people aren't getting money, if there's no unemployment money. Unfortunately, this all interwines the China and U.S. tensions. Uh, you know, Trump making more steps to getting rid of TikTok could be very great for Snapchat, could be great for Twitter. It could be great for all social media platforms. Um, because I know Microsoft has till September 15th to make a decision, and I'm sure that they're probably going to try to beat them down to get a very, very good price. So well, Microsoft's another great company to look into, like I've always mentioned. And, you know, be very careful. I've seen Rocket. Rocket is this new hot buzzing company right now. And um, I just want everybody to understand that you know, the housing market hasn't taken its hit yet. Just be very aware. There's been a lot of people with putting their, their loans on forbearance. And, you know, the housing market takes a little bit more time to catch up with what is going on with reality. They say six to seven months. So just be careful with these companies that are holding an enormous amount of loans, uh, housing loans. You can definitely, you you know, going into fall, we're probably definitely going to see a lot of that stuff start to dry up as far as people being able to easily get loans. Uh, the banks are going to be getting strapped because if there's no money, no spending, which we already in a recession, no spending, and then now no money being pumped in, um, you can expect it to get very weird, which it's already been a little weird. I'm sure many of you, if you agree it's been a little weird, feel free to put it in the comments. And, you know, just to let me know I'm not here all by myself. Um, so the market's been weird. Uh, the biggest daily movers. The only one that really stood out to me, let me see. Um, you know, t f first, before I get there, you know, just, if you're looking for more companies to invest in, if you're not already invested in tech, tech, look into Chegg. You know, as the school, school is coming up and that is going to be one of the biggest debates in this country because some people want to send their kids to school, some people don't. Some people can't even go to work if they don't send their kids to school. So if kids start getting sick, uh, you know, a company like Chegg, and there's many others, just do your research. There's some that are considered more affordable. Do your research. Schools is, is schools and pharmaceuticals is, is a, a nice way to, to make some money going forward. So real quick, Biggest daily movers that stood out to me. Obviously, I mentioned Rocket Companies. Stay away from GoPro. And Penn National Gaming, I think, has the potential. Um, let's see. I mean, they're up over 100%, but if you see some pullback on Penn National Gaming, uh, you know, I missed them. I seen them at $14, and now they're at $44. So, uh, I mean, feel free to punch me in the comments below. Hit me with a punch. Hit me with an elbow. Whatever you have to, uh, because I shouldn't have slacked on that one. But with that being said, there's more and more opportunity every day. As you start to see pullbacks, don't get scared, get hungry. I appreciate everybody for watching this video. Please don't forget to hit the thumbs up on this video. Don't forget to like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to wait. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to say hi. And don't forget, if you're interested in being in the Stocks Group Chat, to let me know. Shoot me a DM above. I appreciate everybody for watching. Peace.